Hello, a quick video to show you how to record or download video footage from a uh, iProx video recorder. Um, all you got to do is on the main screen, do a right click, <coughs> do a right click, and uh, enter your default password. Uh, the factory default one is just one, two, three, four, five. Click enter, and then um, to playback. Obviously, you go into playback. You click on the date, select the select the camera. So for example, if I want to play on second, I click second from the calendar, and then let's say I want to play back camera number one, two, and possibly three, or even four. And then, then where do we go then? All right, so this is your timeline. All you need to do is just click wherever you need. So we selected the date, which is four second, and this is the timeline on that day, starting from 1 a.m. in the morning, two, three, four, five. It goes all the way up 24 hours in a day. So we just click wherever you need to play back. Let's see if I want to play back between two and three. I click that. So that's the video footage uh, for that day. So that's how you play back. So you can just go along this timeline and click wherever you like it. And then you can see uh, and play back the video footage. Now if you need to download any of this, you go back to the main screen and go back into the menu again. You're going to export. Make sure you've got a USB pen drive plugged into the recorder box. Uh, I don't know if you could see, but there's a little USB slot at the front of the recorder box. You plug a USB pen. Make sure Make sure it's big enough, probably about 10 gig something, or oh, even a 5-6 gigs fine. Uh, and then all you got to do is keep the file type all, channel, you can select which channel you need. Um, but I would select uh, channel number one. File format AVI, leave it like that. Start date, start time. So generally start time, uh, start date and the end date is the same, because you want to play back a clip within the same day. Um, start time, let's say if I want to download something between 12 and uh, f 3 minutes past 12. You could download much longer clips, it just like, takes a bit longer. So what I would do, I will just set that to 12 and 3. I wouldn't bother just adjusting the seconds. I'll leave it like that. So my start time it's 12 exactly on the dot and the end time for that clip is 3 minutes and 47 seconds past 12. So once I put the right date and the timing and select the camera number all I've got to do then is to click search. So now the recorder box will look for any recording available for that day. Oh, it's today's date. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. So let me change that. It should be, let's put yesterday date. I wonder why there's no video files. Because it's nine in the morning. Okay. Um, right, put 12. Okay, so I'm searching for something yesterday. And then click search. Right, you see that single line there? That's the video footage available for that day. You can actually check the time in there, start time, end time. It will show you the file size as well. That's only about a gig, because these are all IP cameras. Make sure the box is ticked and click on... Um, if the video file is more than 30 seconds, you need to click on start. If it's shorter than 30 seconds, you can click on fast export. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's not enough disk space because nothing's been plugged into the USB drive but if you do plug one in then this will start to uh, record and then the progress bar will go from 0 to 100 once it's done you can just unplug it plug it into any Windows or even a Mac computer um, and then you can play back you might need a mp4 player on your computer um, some of the older Windows and some of the Macs don't have this so if you download something called a VLC player that's VLC player. If you Google it, you'll get it's a free piece of software. And then you can play back the files from there. Um, any questions, uh, visit our website. It's uh, eiselectrical.net and there's 
loads of information. Okay, 